74 degrees and sunny. Feels like paradise outside, doesn't it? That's Jesus' second word from the cross. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Now first of all, consider who was speaking. It was Jesus dying on a cross, suffering this excruciating death. He's talking to someone else and promising paradise. Who could do that but God alone? Secondly, consider this. To whom those words were spoken. They were spoken to a thief, a criminal, a rebel who was crucified next to Jesus. And we don't know a lot about this criminal, but here's what we do know. He did something so terrible. The death penalty was the only punishment deemed sufficient. We also know from the Bible that earlier that same day, while he was on the cross, he insulted Jesus. He joined the crowds and heaped up abuse on our Savior. And yet, in the very last hours of his life, the words of Jesus, the actions of Jesus, had an effect on this criminal's heart. And he asked Jesus, can you remember me? when you come into your kingdom. Now, the point of this is not, hey, put off Jesus your entire life, and at the very end you just say, Jesus, remember me, and Jesus will let you into heaven. Said the point is this. No sin is too big for our Savior. The man, Jesus, was true God dying on that center cross, and he forgives all sins of all people of all time even the sins of criminals like you and me. The other point here, it's never too late for anyone. If you have a friend or a family member who does not believe in Jesus, don't give up. Keep sharing the good news. Point to the center man on the cross, Jesus. Point out his salvation covers all sins of all people of all time. And look forward to the day when you and your friends and your family will hear Jesus say, Welcome, friend. Today, you will be with me in paradise. Thanks for watching.